Okay. Uh, now make it. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Okay. Now, uh, in our chit, in my chit chat, I have uh, my friend from Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who live in Italy? I currently studying in Italy. Which city? I uh, I study in the uh, University of Salerno, which is the southern Italy. After like uh, it has two hours of distance uh, travel, you can reach by bus. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a beautiful city with the beaches, lakes, and sea, with the port. Yeah. Master degree. Yeah, I'm studying uh, master in computer science. Computer. I have a specialization. Uh, my specialization is Internet of Things, IoT. IoT. Yeah, it's my second year. Then when? Since when? Yeah, so my enrollment was uh, for the session of uh, October 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was and COVID, it, right? Uh, no. No? No, 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 it was not COVID, it was normal. Ah. Yeah, so 2022. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, completely normal. And I, but I got my visa late. Mm -hmm. So I reached in uh, December 22 in, because almost one semester was ended. So I just came and appeared for the exams. Yeah, it depends on the visa. And then you pass the exam? Yeah, I just passed few because we have to, in Italy, we have to complete the credits for one year. Okay. So that you become able for uh, to gain the scholarship again or for the first time. It's conducted in English or in Italian? Yeah. So for us, uh, the um, master uh, people coming from Asia are as an international student to our university mm -hmm. or to into Italy. Uh, they have this mandatory thing to uh, up only get, get an, an admission in the uh, English taught course mm -hmm. because for the others you have a lot of uh, courses but uh, since we don't know uh, the Italian language because all the all of them are in Italian so you it's all, almost impossible how do you know this information you said online roasting or something okay. like yeah, as I was, uh, everybody is like having this mindset to study abroad, especially Europe, yeah. like for the Asian people. So I have uh, this intention. I was looking for opportunities previously from a long time. I was looking to go to UK, mm -hmm. but it was like way before so much time. Then I dropped this idea. Then suddenly, like, uh, I completed my bachelor's after working two, two years later. Then I realized I should uh, have, I should have to try for master's, like, uh, so this opportunity was, uh, yeah, that time um, admissions literally were too much in the, on the media, like social media. We have these groups in our country. Uh. So I got many, so I thought this might be some chance. It's like a Pakistani student association. Yeah, it's called uh, Pakistani students in Italy, mm -hmm. and it's a very growing group, like almost more than one million members. One million. Yeah. So how many population do you have in Pakistan? Like I mean to say that uh, more than like uh, yeah, population of Pakistan is yeah. more than twenty-two million. Twenty-two million. Yeah. And the majority of religion. Yes, uh, religions. I think 97% is Muslim. Because 99%? Our 97, you can say. 99, we can't because uh, nowadays we have the minority also. Uh -huh. So our country has what the rights for the minority, like Christian, Hindus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is because we have the, the constitution, our country is established or developed on the Islamic constitution. It's, it is the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, not uh, other because so we have two constitution. One is uh, formal and one other is Islamic. And you taught me also you are a Hafiz Kula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. But you, you forgot some surah? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious because I can't say myself I'm a, like, you know, it's been, uh, there are people who are like, very much qualified and you know my brother also mm -hmm. he's a happy zikor and mashallah he is very good he, he is completely like uh, following his uh, way mm -hmm. 
like he has to like uh, recite in the Quran in the Ramadan and yeah. giving time yeah, yeah. so it's been a most long time so I'll try to catch up again but yeah I spend a lot of time but you used to be a uh, Hafiz Quran in the past I, I'm not the regular one uh, because I'm not uh, I was not on the town on the on the home side most of the time so like uh, but I I gave it most time I almost completed it how you uh, socialize yourself as a Muslim in the European which is uh, let's say Christian country kind yeah. of here yeah. yeah. how you socialize you do pray every day or how yeah so as you know uh, there is no specific places yeah. or specific routine to follow for Muslims as this is uh, not a um, so much common religion for these people and you know the they have some they don't want anyone others to influence in their country yeah. it is not apparently banned but you know we can't do later on if we do these things frequently then they will uh, arise the questions you know uh, because it's their country so we is a natural phenomena so if someone in, you know, might do this thing in our country pretending or uh, just uh, promoting some other religion we will also be up against and for sure we are so my routine is uh, pray uh, in my room most of the time according to the time we have this Muslim pro app mm -hmm. yeah so uh, this is the routine and the, the Jumma prayer we used to you know, because we have one mosque in Salerno so we you have mosque. yeah one mosque which is organized and managed by Bangladeshi people Bangladeshi community mm -hmm. we used to go there sometimes we have classes and we have to it's some distance away from us so now we have uh, um, arranged our community we have some little community in Salerno Pakistani community so we arrange ourselves uh, in our friend's house or some place we are all get, to get together to perform Jumma. and how you came here to where yeah Lithuania. <laughs> this project yeah okay so I was uh, really searching for this project for Erasmus project and looking forward but sometimes you know they have some selection criteria yeah yeah and they don't uh, get select you so i think it was the destiny like uh, this time the may month was very blessing for mm -hmm. me kind of erasmus Why? projects <laughs> because i got selected for many projects since i've wow. never been selected for any <laughs> before yeah my friends uh, already had experience of uh, such projects mm -hmm. like who came uh, in the same year with me mm -hmm. so uh, they have done uh, like three to four projects so I was being lazy or I was waiting for some uh, from uh, perfect time okay but then uh, you know what God has written for you yeah, yeah. so um, I got selected uh, I got I being selected for Portugal for Romania Romania so, yeah uh, since you are from Romania studying in Romania uh, but Lithuania, I thought uh, most projects are very common because Portugal, Romania, uh, they arrange most of the program every time, every yeah, year, yeah. every uh, time of the year. So the Lithuania is such a country. Uh, maybe it's very rare to arrange, uh, and it is like this mm -hmm. because it's and not. Why, so you, why you choose Lithuania? Lithuania, I choose is because being an immigrant, um, I'm always been looking for the country who is good for like uh, living and where you can get uh, uh, good opportunities for work and you can get your okay you, be you don't believe in coincidence well uh, I, I believe in coincidences yeah you uh, believe or you don't believe uh, uh, in which point of view are asking me no in the whole it coincidence because can you please explain the coincidence then I will I will, I no, will. because uh, what I believe, I didn't believe in coincidence because I believe something happened for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't believe in coincidence. Yeah, being as my belief, uh, the person of a belief I am. Yeah. So I believe that everything is written by Allah, God, mm -hmm. and um, He has already written everything for us. Mm -hmm. And we are just following that path. Uh, yeah. We don't know. Yeah. But uh, from all of nowhere out of nowhere he can take you to the path yeah he where he wanted you to be yeah so yeah 
but you know um, son, whatever is written in your destiny it will maybe happen by a long term preparation or long term process or maybe it happened by coincidence yeah. but yeah in long term i don't but yeah, it happens you know it is said uh, in event can change your life or uh, something is yours it will belong to yours it will come yeah, to you yeah yeah if it's something for you never a million times it will be yours but yeah if, but i'm if not it's not something for you <coughs> even between your lips it will not be yours this is this is our belief you know mm-hmm. like uh, speaking um, being as a muslim mm-hmm. being as a um, what is uh, like this is our teachings and our thing yeah. but you know this world most of majority of the world you see those who are non believers we will not say non muslim but non believers because we are all a human so nowadays with education science they have uh, and you know with these new modern uh, uh, trending things like uh, atheism and other you know the gender transformation changes like you know transgender yeah no like uh, every gender has yeah every this topics you know the cliche topics of the society now it is not cliche here but yeah they have uh, they have a uh, make uh, the things uh, they they found it more logical explanation for these things but we don't go in these things because we have belief uh, maybe we we could go wrong way so yeah uh, we do maybe these per- these people have logical some mix up of things but you know what is what it is yeah, yeah it's like uh I don't know how to say it's like you believe that you didn't know. If you know, you it it couldn't be called belief. Like <coughs> you believe to your parent or you know your parent. You, you know your parent, right? Yeah, yeah. Your father and your mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. We believe that something that we didn't know. If we know, it's not it's not can be called belief. It's no. You are white or we are Asian, yeah. Because we see we are Asian. But uh, you, as you said, that we we know our parents. Yeah. So we know our parents because our parents were some both humans. Yeah. They got because married. Because we see it. Yeah. We they know. got they got married, and they uh, they they got married, and through the process we came to this world. Mm-hmm. They brought up us. We spent the life with them, almost like half of the life as per expected age, mm-hmm. and uh, they are still with us, mm-hmm. and we feel them. Mm-hmm. We 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 just prioritize them in everything, mm-hmm. being as a. allowing our a natural relation uh-huh. uh, we this is our first priority we the, we just see them first then the rest of the world yeah. that's how a loving relation should be yeah so uh, we can take this into the related context of the belief of god or something that is the, the superior creature mm-hmm. of uh, this world or uh, this universe mm-hmm. world is a small thing mm-hmm. so i must say that uh, in in order in the science if you want to if you want to prove some you want to believe something you need to prove uh, you yeah. have to make some assessment and then you have to make it proof and then make it law so as you see you don't go no far you just see this uh, surrounding mm-hmm. we have these trees we have this land we have this rock mm-hmm. so i don't see the much capability and capacity in the human uh, kind or uh, one person of some uh, knowledge and some uh, capabilities that he can create only the small amount of this thing i had my hand so there is some universe who created this with some powers mm-hmm. and most of the people who are uh, unknowingly unaccepting the some belief but they say oh they say when they say beautiful view a beautiful landscape they say oh this is something amazing which is out of his capabilities out of his mind out of his uh, level You know, so uh, for everything, for me, these explanations are enough. As discussed, this is not a human kind creations. This is something superior. So yeah, I am realistic to believe. Yeah. So maybe the people have some other. They have belief, but they have some in different direction. Oh uh, so, yeah, kind of. Because maybe we believe in the something that it's like this camera. Also, there is creator. who create this one there is a creator there is designer who create this tripod tripod who create us who create a human this grass and anything uh the one that i want to ask you is like mm, 
as like a minority in the European, how did you feel? How you mingle or get along with non-believers? Yeah. Okay. So I will not, uh, I will not make uh, uh, any uh, fake or false statement about this. I would say the truth, which is the need of the time. You know, like uh, we have some toughness here uh, in a kind of. Uh, this is this is due to because of our weaknesses as a community. Mm -hmm. We are like a kind of a fear of the thing, and we first of thing we don't have a unity among. Uh, maybe among the Muslim community uh, living here, they they are not first uniting and they are not even considering this is important that we should be together for in order to at least uh, for the living and uh, for praying or for uh, what should I say believing practicing the religion mm -hmm. we got to have some some more effort rather than uh, living the normal routine life you know so uh, yeah. There, there is no, uh, especially, I don't know about the other countries, yeah, but Italy, I would say, rather being having so much Muslim people as a immigrant in the Italy, mm -hmm. but they still, like, have no, no such um, unity uh, or contractness that uh, they can are uh, beyond the some point. I will give you an example, like, uh, it is not established as a community, mm -hmm. although it's is the growing in number yeah you can you can you can have facts you can find muslims arabs asian muslims arab muslims palestinian turkish and uh, you know from africa yeah from africa you would find a very good community of uh, muslims a good believers a good people you know and uh, i would say from ukraine even like ukraine from uh, yeah palestine these kind of countries, you would find the people. But uh, when it comes to the uh, to showing your demonstration of your practicing religion, like in the month of Ramadan, in the month of uh, uh, on the Eid and these re religious festival days, uh, they they have almost no uh, demonstration of their practice. They don't even celebrate much like the way they has to. Why? It's not the case like in established countries like UK, in America, in Canada even. In Canada you have you find communities yeah. who are very energetic and very proactive to do the things for the community. Is it because the government policy as well? Yeah, but I don't think so. The government is uh, the government here is so like uh, uh, unfair and unmean <laughs> because it's a growing number of country. Uh, they they have yeah. No, you can't take this in a whole context of a Europe. Yeah. Yeah, but in the context of Italy, I could say yeah, it could be a little different because it's a Christian-centric country. Yeah, yeah. and there are there are mindsets exist now, like the, those who are not have much exposure of this modern world. Like I will give you the example of South. So there are people who are more believer like us, a very passionate believers. Yeah. Not like us, but like the good Muslim believers, uh, but to their own religion. Yeah. Yeah. They don't forget yes. their God. They don't forget their prophet, messenger. I have seen, I have seen people. You know, they uh, they love. They they do the practices. They believe. They are fear of the sin. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's almost the same, but the context of religion is different. They have the same passion. They have the same enthusiasm. They have the same credibility and respect for the religion. Do you think media influence as well? Yeah, uh, right now the media is busy in some other things, but what media have done from the past years, after 9-11, after the things, uh, the pe there are much unsolved questions in the people's minds. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, it's like the hidden hidden treasure, treasure of uh, uh, the questions. Uh, like, for example, if you sit down with the people from here, from the West, and you got some uh, connection as being as a friend, being as a colleague with them, when they are, first they are not open to these things. When they become able to get open with you, yeah, as a person, they want you to mm, communicate, yeah, yeah. or you know, to get mingled. So they will say, if you don't mind, but I have this question. They have this typical question about the most, the woman, the hijab, uh, 
uh, about the terrorism, mm -hmm. about the war in our country, what happened. Yeah. So they still think that we are like a very disastrous country. Like I don't want to the name the countries, but which is which are very weakened, um, and they the people are coming to these countries as immigrant. Uh, the, these kind of East African countries, I don't want to name anyone, but yeah, uh, but in this context, they also consider the bigger countries like Pakistan, Indonesia, <laughs> Bangladesh, and uh, you know some other countries like they consider there still there is a, like a kind of a very war situation and people are really unhappy. There is very unfair uh, injustice is going on with the people. It's because of the media. Uh, we thanks to we have YouTube or something. If not, they will monopoly by the media by Western media. It's like don't want to mention it, but it's, yeah, it is. It is like CNN, uh, BBC or something like that. Yeah, if yeah, uh, it is. Watch it is now. Television. But we have internet right now. We can post anywhere in the social media, YouTube or anywhere. You can find uh, people. You can find influencers. Who are doing good job in the context of these things, like promoting the religion, promoting and solving these uh, unsolved uh, questions, like which is a kind of a misunderstanding in the people minds. So, yeah, you as you mentioned the broadcasters, you know, they they will do their work till all the time, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. They have this responsibility before. No, it's, it's make it little like this. Little more, little more to yourself. Yeah, that's it's this how. And how Islam in the Pakistan then? Yeah, in Pakistan, uh, in Pakistan, the the country is, is I say, it's 97, 96 percent of Islamic. You know, people are Muslim. All there is no, there is no doubt in these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have the problem with school of thought. Like the, the, these uh, sects, you know, Shia, Sunni, ah, Barelvi, yeah. yeah, these, these uh, firkas, these firkas are sectarian, uh, sectarianism mm -hmm. have completely have in past. What masab uh, did you follow in the Pakistan? Like for Hanafi. me, for me, Hanafi. I'm Hanafi. Uh, I'm uh, Hanafi. Hanafi. Yeah, but uh, the other is uh, different, you know, Shia and uh, Shafi. And the other are like these two are common. The rest may be Ahl Hadith, those who just believe Hadith. Uh, and, the, and there are some local in Asia, you, have, you will find the one thing that they have uh, their own some sort like Barelvi. Barelvi, Barelvi? yeah, Barelvi. I just heard about it. What is this? Yeah, I'll explain. Barelvi is like a, a place in uh, India where there is a bigger, biggest madrasa. Oh. Yeah, so the people learn from there, they call Barelvi, they themselves, it's, an, it's, a, it's a good religion, like, it's a good school of thought, they have the same, no differences, no extra things, but they are very loud in the love of uh, Prophet, like, mm. uh, you know, like, uh, Shias are probably very loud and passionate about, like, the, uh, mm, the belongings of Prophet, Hassan Hussain, Talanu, yeah. So these are these Barelvi's people are the Barelvi sectors uh, very loud in, uh, in the love of a prophet, which is good. But there are some you know agrees disagrees with the with the uh, with the agree and disagree with uh, with any sects. So no, I mean uh, with the Shia, I we know if they are uh, how to say to make a big name in the Ali, you know. Yeah, yeah. In Ali, but about uh, the name, what you mentioned it, the another sect. What, what is his? But I, I don't want to like. It's the one, one is this, one is Ahl Hadith. Those who just believe on Hadith, consider uh -huh. the first priority as a Hadith after the yeah, Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, everything is viable. Like it's not really forgiven. Like Ahl Hadith, you can find in Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. There are most of the people. But uh, you know, I don't want to get confused with these things because yeah. for us, we are now in Europe. We just wanted to to show them as a as a straightforward mm -hmm. one way of religion. Mm -hmm. If yeah, they know about it, they are already in complex mind and they are already like uh, have so much un confusion and clear clearness in their uh, in this uh, concept. So we want this would be make a, a lot of mess. And uh, religion should be a very clear and concise thing, like you know. Do you believe that you are a good Muslim? Yeah, I believe like. Uh, yeah. You pray on Friday? 
Yeah, prayers. Prayers are very, prayers are very common and compulsory thing for a Muslim. You know, mm-hmm. uh, while not in this, in this uh, culture, mm-hmm. we are we are now in the West. Mm-hmm. Um, you think, yeah, I can really proud on praying while on praying, mm-hmm. but in country we used to live, praying is a regular activity for us. It's not a sort of very like a remarkable thing for us because it's a part. The remarkable thing is uh, uh, do more than your ex- efforts and do more than your strength. Do more uh, prayer, do more good to the people, yeah. do more uh, good deeds, do more uh, give zakat to the people mm-hmm. and just be uh, available yourself for, for no reason, as the God said. So, so these things, um, uh, now here, like you are struggling for the basic uh, uh, practices, so I think, yeah, I try my best and I, uh, yeah, the main thing is, I have my belief. I uh, I become it become more stronger. I can say mm-hmm. because why I I been in in discussion and in argumentation with so many people that I uh, I used to answer the questions which was not in which was not generated in the, my mind before mm-hmm. because there was no need to it. Now they people questions me about my religion, so I I try to sit down and I try to uh, gain more knowledge on the topics which I which I has to be cleared, but. Yeah, uh, I tried, and it makes my religion, it makes my belief more strong, because I I came to know to the point that yeah, it's true, it's truth. Okay, uh, fair enough. And then, what is your plan in the future? You want to stay in uh, Europe, or you want to go back to your country? Yeah, I want to to stay, stay, uh, right. because the country in right now the situation in the country is uh, not so suitable. Like uh, the country is dealing with some financial and some uh, other external factors problems, so you know, for for me uh, coming from that long, uh, and for every individual from from my place, from my country, and from nearby countries, because the population is too much, and a very few uh, number of people got such opportunities mm-hmm. to came out because for everything you need eligibility. You yeah, need some yeah. criteria yeah. to fulfill. So I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss this for myself. I don't want to miss this for my upcoming family, for my upcoming chain. I want to, I want them to experience. I want my belongings to experience this view, this country, this not country but this region, this uh, environment. It is good in many aspects, and we have to learn more from them. They have reached some excellence in many things, which is which could be like for which could be like our um, uh, uh, features of living, like uh, uh, the welfare society, the the rights to the people, and availability of things to the people, the basic needs to the people. Uh, but unfortunately, with so much population, with uh, such bad governance in countries like us, I sorry to say, but it's a reality. Yes, it is. Every right. Muslim country, except few countries, are struggling with this dilemma. Uh, Qatar, Dubai, maybe. Yeah, because what they did, they become enlightened and they they try to make competency with the with the world. Mm-hmm. They they try to they try to ca- capture the pace that the world is growing, and they has to because the things they has to offer to the to the world was the world might become uninterested in few years because if they were not going with the with the same thing the world has adapted. So this is the problem with us, and um, there are some geographic problems, like uh, I must say, these countries, for example, this Lithuania. I would give example. It's a small country. Mm-hmm. Now they have their own freedom, yeah. Apart, although they have uh, the bigger power, like uh, Russia and things are in the in, in nearby. Mm-hmm. But now they are free. Mm-hmm. They don't have much problem from these things. They can grow in their own space very good. The, re- the resources are ex- uh, good for them. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, what happened to us? We being we being affected by the immigrants from other country in the shape of war. We were being targeted and get affected by the wars. You know, we were never being being get free to grow as a as a nation. Mm-hmm. Although with much capability, with much uh, uh, so much intelligence, with so much bravery and the braveness of the people, but 
very systematically we were being kept control and not being uh, live let free to, to be grown as we has to be but what what is your uh, future job or what your dream job what you want to contribute for yeah. the people for me is like field. yeah as i am from computer science field and i <coughs> what i'm studying is is very like uh, modern advanced studies mm -hmm. and it's very in demand uh, like now what you can uh, you can came to know everywhere about artificial intelligence machine yeah. learning mm -hmm. so everything what we, what i study what other study goes in collected in, in that one direction in the bigger picture if cyber security is doing something if iot is doing something it's now adding help to the the bigger field of machine learning and artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and now you nowadays you can see that intelligent artificial intelligence has captured many of the life phases a life things you know they are helping us in growing the life more so i wanted to learn some uh, this field what i am doing i wanted to do some uh, good work in this uh, demand fields like artificial intelligence machine learning along with the combination of iot mm -hmm. yeah uh, i become able to um, if i become able to uh, select any of the profession it's enough yeah so i have multiple uh, but you didn't mention it. what is your job my job would be like uh, i can work as a developer developer i can work as an engineer mm -hmm. ai engineer machine learning iot engineer mm -hmm. iot developer and the third phase you know in a bigger company you can work as a consultant so now i'm a student uh, so for so the foremost job foremost job for any graduate is a developer are uh, doing something uh, creatively okay. like making something rather than managing something so after a few years with the some ex expertise i can uh, i can maybe be able to perform consultant uh, job like iot consultant i can consult the companies i can consult the people Uh, the professionals to more advanced it happens you know it's a hierarchy and then in the long term what my wish and what my nature is uh, i ex i have experience of job and i wanted to like uh, create some star to have some startup so what that i can of? we can work both for me like as a business you know you can't survive with the job all the life yeah yeah so i must have some thing because if i wanted to give my uh, time energy everything to something yeah. i want something out of it i want some i want it to work for me as an asset and uh, in my country um, um, like it's very much needed because the demand is too much for everything yeah. and i have if i was able to if i would able to do anything good it would really help me as a person to grow me up financially and as a from the knowledge point of view and it may be work for good for the people maybe i can acknowledge people with something they are not clear with and i know because there is a difference between european study education in asian and now what we have you know they are advanced they are yeah what yeah, sound yeah. yeah culture as well and then the yeah, culture yeah but the knowledge because the advancement knowledge. of the knowledge yeah. i have seen there is a there is a difference between everything mm -hmm. in the approach of the, of yeah. the teachers the of, of the thing. instructors professors their approach is different they want you to grow more they want expect more things from you rather than keeping you in a very uh, restricted channel mm -hmm. they keep you grow they say you go you you give me this you go in this direction you search in this direction give me research give me results gather me this thing gather me that thing you know so they are very open to everything yeah. and if you talk about their like their work ethics so they are very workaholic like when it is a work time they are almost focused and directed on their things you know uh, yeah. if, they, if they are study if this is a research if there is some other thing they are read if there is a professional life they are very honest and they are very dedicated so uh, i want to take such things to my country to benefit my people and uh, yeah uh, to at least to have some uh, tangible things out of this then what do you think about this project yeah, this project yeah certainly we uh, as we are we are here just because of this project <laughs> yeah so very fortunate that i, I haven't met anyone 
from Indonesia before. So I am the first Indonesian. Yeah, you are the first Indonesian. Then what do you think about me? Wow, yeah, I I heard it before much ago that Indonesians are like, like you know, Muslim country, and I had recent knowledge like you know I told you a story about my friend, so, but I didn't knew it as much as like I came to know the other countries like Morocco, mm-hmm. Tunisia. Yeah. And these Arab countries, because we find people everywhere. Uh, it's fortunate to have like Muslim people, mm-hmm. Iran and sorry, Turkey. Mm-hmm. So, and, and and you can also imagine that there are very few people yeah. uh, from in the Europe. Maybe like yeah. uh, you don't find easily yeah, people yeah. from Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can find people in Australia, in such countries, in New Zealand. No, in Europe, most of them live in Germany, ah. Germany or or Netherlands. Okay. Most, of them. most students go there, but for another country, no, not really. Oh, <coughs> like in in Europe, I would say that uh, we also have a good good connection to meet people. Uh, is like the sh- halal shops. Yeah. The people have the Muslim mm-hmm. people have. Mm-hmm. So if they are from Morocco, if they are from some Palestine, if they are from some Syria. Some any place like I would say, na. So it is. We are. We we came to know somehow people. Yeah, yeah. Came to know about the the nature, the people, how the people is, mm-hmm. and how the people are, and you know this thing. But Indonesia is kind of a very unique, and undiscoverable country for me. And then what do you think? Uh, very good people. I I was really surprised and very happy that really? that the people have very good uh, faith and idea about the religion. And they are so strict, yeah. Um, because they are not want to mention, but many of the Muslim countries have very enlightened uh, ideology about the religion nowadays. Mm-hmm. They say, okay, whatever it is. But um, uh, by meeting you, I was happy that like you're surprised that you pray, you have some uh, good idea of the belief. Although you are living in Europe mm-hmm. from so quite some time, mm-hmm. and maybe you your your belief are ideology become enlightened or some relaxed but yeah maybe God save me <laughs> yeah because it depends on your own hard work what you do so yeah it's a pleasure to meet you me too nice to meet you brother. thank you so much brother thank you for your have time. a blessed future and yeah. a good future in David for you too